Okay, today's video is gonna show you how to program a one-shot type of sequence on RiffStep, the Digitech Whammy Enhancer. Today we're using a Whammy 5, but the technique is the same for any type of Whammy. RiffStep controls all four of the modern Whammies that have a MIDI jack on the side. With a one-shot sequence, each time you press the button, RiffStep runs through the whole sequence one time. You can also stack them up by pressing the button a couple of times in a row. The first thing to do is to decide which of RiffStep's presets you're going to overwrite. So to select a preset, you hold down the tap button. Right now we're on preset number two. We can select a different one using the button. Or we can turn the knob. Go all the way up to 16 here. When you see one off and the rest flashing, that's the top eight. That's number nine. Then we're back down to preset number eight. We're gonna go back down to preset number two though and work on that one today. So to select it, you press the tap button. So there's already one shot there, but we're gonna make a new one. So to get into preset edit mode, you hold in the button on the side until all the LEDs light up and start flashing. Now the first thing you have to do is decide how many steps you want in this sequence. Right now it's on four steps. You can turn the knob, select, there's eight steps. That'd be nine when just the one LED's on and the other ones are flashing. All the way up to 16 steps. Well, we're gonna make a four step sequence, four step one shot sequence. So press in the button. And now it's asking you what type of sequence you want to program. Well, it's on one shot right now because you see the pair of LEDs above the word one shot. Written on riff step is also set, one step, MIDI, tap, and two step. Those are different types of programs that riff step's capable of producing. The thing about a one shot is it's just a tap tempo program, but it only goes through one time. A tap tempo program will keep looping. So we program a one shot one step at a time. So press in the button. Then RiffStep wants to know how many measures long this one shot's gonna be. Well, a measure is the time between two taps. So when we tap in a tempo for the one shot, if we want the sequence to have the same duration as the time between your two taps, you use one measure. If you want it to be half as fast as the time between two taps, you use two measures. You can go three, four, you can go up to eight measures. That'd be a really slow playback. Well, we're just gonna keep it simple and make it play back at the speed we tap. So press the button. Now we're being asked whether we want a pitch or a harmony interval. Well, the whammy has harmony intervals on the left here, and that's when you hear your original note being played along with the pitch shifted note, or it has pitch intervals where all you hear is the shifted pitch. Now with a one shot, you have to remember that after it's done playing, it's gonna go back to the first step. So usually you're gonna to wanna to hear the original note that you're actually playing. Makes it a lot easier to keep track of what's going on. So now we get to select a pitch or a harmony interval. You can see harmony written in the middle there. And over on this side, you'll see pitch written in the middle of those four LEDs there. We're gonna put the four LEDs around harmony, which means we're gonna do a harmony interval for this first one. So then press in the button, and now we're on step one of our sequence. So you play your guitar and listen to the interval. So there's an octave up. There's an octave down. If we keep going, it just loops around. So we're gonna go back to an octave up. So that's our first interval. Press in the button again. And for the second step, do you want a pitch or a harmony interval? It's asking again. This time we'll do a pitch interval. So again, we're on step two now. Play the note on your guitar and then turn the knob till you hear an interval that sounds cool. So there it sounds like we have a fourth down. So we'll use that for our second interval. Press the button. Now here's our third interval. We'll do another harmony one. So press the button. And now we're on 
step three of our sequence, of our four-step sequence. So there's an octave down harmony. Now our fourth step, pitcher harmony, and we'll do pitch again. So we're on the fourth step, so we're gonna turn the knob till we hear an interval that sounds cool. So we'll do two octaves up there. Now if we wanna hear how it sounds, we can press the step button. So that's pretty cool sounding. Well, if we want it a little faster though, we can tap in a different tempo right here. So that sounds pretty good. So now we'll press the button again and it gets back to the beginning where we select the number of steps in our sequence. You can go through the whole pattern again and you can actually change the number of steps here if you want, make it a six step sequence if you thought it should have had a couple more. But I like the way that sounds, so we're gonna hold in the button until we see a smile of LEDs on riff step. And that tells us our preset's been saved. So now, every time we press the step button, our sequence will play through once. And again, if you wanna stack them up, you can press the step button a couple times fast. So that's how you program a one-shot sequence on Rift Step, the Digitech Whammy Enhancer. You can find a lot more information in other videos at stepaudio.net.